welcome to the video to the interview i'm wrestling mm -hmm. fans today i have a very special guest multiple times world champion and arguably the most active and important person in arm wrestling right now mr engin terzi how are you sir hello hello bro tired my friend tired and it is going to be the same way for at least 10 more days no, i it guess will be, it will be worse <laughs> yeah. like last may event was with 17 foreign athletes this is with 28 foreign athletes yeah so it is, it is gonna be busier and also i am starting we are starting a seminar here international seminar it will be one week long in my city and yeah. from there also about 30 people will come and about the hotel and the training and then picking people you know the east versus west athletes from the airports you know a lot of things to do, a lot like my brain is burning right now yeah and i think we can somewhat understand what you may be going through because me as a small youtuber i can say that work allocation to others like giving your work to others it can be somehow difficult like some people tell me that i can do editing for you and but they are not really interested that much in arm wrestling they know me otherwise and i feel like man I, i don't know if they will be able to do good enough work so work allocation becomes difficult so sometimes do you also feel that that you may be doing that work at a level and you expect that certain level from others as well and they may not be able to fulfill it that is why you try to do everything by yourself or just nobody no, it's, it's just because because if, if i don't do that um i don't have anyone around me that is like uh able to do all this yeah i have friends that are helping me but it's mostly for the hotel reservation for the stage you know uh those kind of things but you know i am the one that you know is in contact with everyone who is coming from outside you know including course sports crew and referees and now we were short about covering the event because it was so expensive so we had to do that vip sponsoring that thing guys you come you know you need to do yeah it's it's hard hard thing to do but yeah and guys we are going to talk about the east versus west questions in the later part of this interview if you are in a hurry then please purchase the pay per view the event is on august 6th as you can see there and the link is in the description 15 dollar pay per view you must buy that to support the amrasling community if you can so again i would like to start with the first question family support not enough people ask you about about your family i got an interesting comment and the comment was i saw in an article written by yourself that your wife was also an arm wrestler too and you were talking about that event how you how you coached her to win that mm -hmm. and somehow mm -hmm. she she won that mm -hmm. so can you explain the family support the members of your family how they react i mean i, I have i have i have this support that i need from the uh, family you know there is not much to uh, talk about it but just yeah i, I get enough support so does anything change <laughs> like during the matches you used to tell that your family like needs to be kind of careful because you were in that match mode in that anger mode so how how does your personality change when you are busy organizing an event and i mean it is it is it is you know hard the organizer yeah i get a little bit you know stressed about a few things but com competing is different organizing is different like both stressing but uh the different type of stresses like whenever i compete it is like maybe even it depends you know the event but maybe more stressing because you need to be ready you need to be pain free you need to lose weight and this and that uh, but whenever you are organizing it is not that you need to i mean the thing that you need to do is easier from one side harder from another side harder because that is not something that you know my profession but you know i'm i'm i mean but a lot of things i need i need to divide myself to concentrate on many different things you know or whenever you compete in your you know your target you know you just you just need to go there and win you know so 
Engin, I would like to ask you, and of course, we discussed in detail how you got into arm wrestling, how you got excited in the first interview. So I'm not going to ask you that question one more time. But I would like to ask you your experience from your first WAF World Championship and your first championship where you won the gold. I won't be surprised if you won the gold at your first WAF Championship. So both experiences, first time you competed in a, in a World Championship and first time you won gold there. I think you were 19 at that time. Okay, well, what exactly you want me to say? My experience. So, what was what were your expectations going into that? Were you confident that you can win? I mean, because first time, being no first time I went there, I didn't know. I didn't know like, I mean, like what to expect. There, I took second place. I lost on two fouls in the final. I was only fifty-seven kilo, but I competed sixty kilo. Um, if I knew now, I would just lose two kilo, and then I would have probably won the 55 kilo right from the first walls. But um, and then the second time I went there, I knew like what to expect. But um, but there was there was a Russian that uh, I didn't expect uh, him to be that strong, and he almost almost beat me he beat me once i beat him twice um i went there alone i didn't go with team i didn't know any english it was a very hard one and yeah but i didn't really care you know i i just i i am i had i had a strong you know mind you know i didn't really care i was so much locked into the target um and and that was the experience and we have a kind of a similar question from morg in the community post what are his best memories in the sport be it a match encounter with someone or a specific trip or anything best memory in your in the sport in your 30 years career there is not one um first first world title was one of them for sure and 2015 walls that I won was one of them that I had nine world titles and it was the 10th one. And the, the world championships I won in uh, 2018 in my county, the world championships was first time organized in my country. And I was the only senior man from uh, Turkey to win that. That that was also something. And and then the other story that I have shared before that 2002 WAP Walls when I won 2001 WAP, I terribly injured my elbow in the final, and I had surgery and I didn't take care of my arm good. And I went to up <clears throat> in a bad shape, I can say, especially for right arm. And then I won the gold with left arm and and uh, right arm. The Russian, Pisarko, because he didn't know that I had surgery, he did not even come to the table. First time we were announced in the qualifications. He didn't know that I was hurt probably. He thought that my right arm is better uh, because I beat him easily the day before in the left arm final. But in the final, he came and he beat me quite easily first match. And before we do the rematch, there was the final of the higher weight category. And there was uh, some argument, even small fights in between the Russian pullers and the R Russian athletes uh, is his coach jump on the stage and he caused problems and then Waf, Waf gave them a uh, penalty. And they said that if you don't pay this, then, then we are going to make like count like all the Russians will be losing the gold medal in the rest of the matches if they don't pay. And there was gonna be my rematch because I was one one with the Russian. And Russians say they are not gonna pay. And then I was told that I was the gold winner, you know. And I didn't accept it. And then I talked with the I talked with the 
WAF officials and I talked with the Russian officials. And then finally, I made an agreement between them. They pay like half of the penalty or something. So they, 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 they continue the matches and the Russian beat me. I took second place. Yeah, so that, that was a memory that I still share proudly, you know, because I told the WAP officials that I'm not gonna accept the gold and I will pull the Russian at the side table. If he beats me, I'm gonna give him the gold medal. They said they, they don't care about it. They said on the official, you know, paper, you know, I will be the gold winner. I don't, they wouldn't care, you know, where I, if I give the gold medal or not, but so I push it, push it, push it and uh, cause that agreement and, but, but I lost, <laughs> but the, 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 the other final match was very tough. I almost beat him. Yeah. He intentionally fouled and then second start, I still had the, so much pain in my elbow and he won in the second start. Yeah. You had shoulder surgery before that or elbows? And no. No, I, I had I had two surgeries. One is outside from elbow here. I don't know. Maybe you can see, maybe not, but it's yeah, right, yeah. right here. Yeah. Visible. Anyway, that's one. And the other one is from stomach. Both both happened in the WAF finals. Okay, okay. One happened in the 2015 WAF final match. Other one, 2001. Both times I won, but I was hospitalized. You know? Yeah. And... This is, a, I'm not sure Engin, if anyone else could have done that. You you had won that gold medal. And if any time people would like to win an easy gold medal is when they're injured, when maybe they can give themselves an excuse. Well, I was injured. I could have won anyways if I was not injured. So if they're giving me the medal, I should take it. But you, you did not do that. And that big, big respect for that. And Engin, I've always been giving examples of Indian cricket team. There were two legendary players, Sachin Tendulkar, and Virendra Sehwag. So whenever there was a mistake on referee's part, umpire's part, if they knew that they are out, they, they missed on something, they just walked off the field. And I always quote that I've, I've grown up seeing those kind of athletes, but you, you have taken the level of respect and self-esteem to another level. I, I never heard about that example. Very, very interesting story. Oh, you, you didn't hear that story before? No, no, no. And I watch all of your podcasts, so maybe you have not mentioned it in the last couple of years. <laughs> I think I think I shared on one of the Wait, Facebook those interviews with Neil. I think. Okay, okay, okay. And a question from Travis Beginashvili. I've this is another thing that I've not seen personally. Maybe it is right. Maybe it isn't. Only you can tell. Why does Engin usually make sure to contact to to shake his opponent's hand before a match? but not after the match is over. Just something I picked up from watching a lot of his old WAF world matches. Maybe you're no, way too much excited. It, no, it, it depends, you know. That I, can, I can share countless videos the opposite way as well, you know. But, but when you, like, that moment when the ready-go comes, you know, you, I, mean, I mean, the way that I arm wrestle is not only arm wrestling, but like more like a war. So it is just that moment you are like out of control, you know, like a chess player till the till the till you come into table, and then when the goal comes, you just become an animal, you know, at that point. And maybe maybe you just like because of the the adrenaline and everything, you know. But if 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 the opponent is so tough, that 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 happens, you know. But if the opponent is easy. I don't come there. I can really go. I beat and I do like this and, you know, just go away, you know. It, it totally depends on my mindset, you know. Yeah. yeah. And another kind of similar question from Darko. What was his toughest and most enjoyable match in his career? There are many of them, but uh, 2015 WAF final against Zaira Ahmedo. Um because of my elbows, um, I haven't tried hook for many years, but even that time I didn't have any good hook, but I realized that he was going to hook me. So I went intentional hook because if, if I tried to top roll him, he would put me in hook anyway. So I would be in bad position while trying to top roll if somebody would just go 
out and you are like this. So I just went intentionally. I, I won that match, but it was very, 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 very tough one. Very tough one, yeah. But I said already before the event and when, when some of the juniors, teammates, they come, you know, what are you going to do? I said, I don't know what I'm going to do, but I'm not going to lose this match before I broke something, you know, or I tear something in my body. And I went there with so many painkillers. And in the night I was sleeping, I won the gold. I, I wake up with so much pain because the painkiller effect was gone. I realized that my back shoulder was there and then the elbow outside was just swollen like this. I couldn't even open my arm. And then I wanted to get up. At that point, I realized that I tear my stomach muscles, you know, when the intestines was out like this much. And yeah, I take, I, you know, lifted T-shirt and I located there. So, but those, I didn't really feel it during the match or after the match. Again, that same going to war mentality, going to war spirit. But have yeah. you ever thought that those things are really, really necessary? If you were kind of extra careful during these competitions, maybe you, you cannot have... push your limits. You cannot push your limits. You know? Yeah, yeah. Listen, your body will go. I mean, will will reach its limits as, as much as your mind, um, motivation, your your the, the, your willingness. You know, just I mean, like. There are things that human can do in the times that, you know, he or she is ready to do anything necessary for it. So that, that is the time that you're pushing your limits, you know, with, with, a, with a normal mind, you know, you can, you can do that. You, you can, like, there are moments that you would do, you would generate power um, only at that moment, you know, in a normal time, you, you can't do this. So you really need to put your spirit in it so that that then you, you can do extraordinary things. But that is all about the motivation. I was usually making my opponent so big, 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 big in my head, you know, and I was preparing myself. If you make your opponent big in your head, mm -hmm. you need to be very brave. If you make it big, but you are not brave, then, then it's bad for you. But if you make it big in your head, and if you are brave, then you are like, you are ready to face something much bigger than what actually it is. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I mean, you are ready for something so big. So I was preparing myself for something bigger than what actually it is. And then I was trying to generate power for that big thing which actually wasn't that big, you know? Yeah. And this is what, again, I was also trying to understand. Of course, I've never been in that situation, but I was trying to understand the mentality of high level arm wrestlers like you. And I was thinking that maybe if, if you guys were extra careful, did not have that war like mentality always, maybe you could have avoided the, the, that many injuries that you have now in your body. But then again, if you didn't have that mentality, Maybe you could have avoided the injuries, but you would not have been at that level. I, I, will, I will tell you something, you know, if, if, if you go to war field and while people are, you know, fighting, you just go aside and just watch them. You will not have scar. Trust me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, you, you can even better idea stay at home, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you, you go into a war field, battlefield, and you are not going to have, you know, scars ones you know i mean not possible you know that, that everything is a price yeah definitely and this is something that many people comment and i also used to think like that maybe one or two years ago that why is Eng always angry at the comments or whenever he dislikes something something why is his threshold so low he gets kind of irritated really really fast but now i understand that 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 aggression was always a part of your personality. And if you didn't have it, maybe you would have never been in the position that you are now. So again, as the same thing that you said, with, with yeah, some great it, it things. Depends, you know, it depends, you know, how, how you are, how you approach. I mean, if you approach respectfully, I don't think that I would be just like, I mean, like if you have good intention, 
then I, I don't think that, you know, I would be uh, just uh, remember you saw the rat made a Photoshop, you know. <laughs> you, you saw the rat. Yeah, I, yeah. I, that was funny. That was funny. I like that comment. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I, I saw it. I'm like, okay, I didn't write this, but it, it's, it is like copied. If, if you look at the number nine, it is number nine at top and the number nine down is like diff different type of nine. You understand? You can see that it's Photoshop, you know. Um, um, so I uh, I saw it. <laughs> I was like, I didn't write this, but the guy just shared. And then whenever I saw some people left because they know that it's not me. And then some people like, good job, Engin. You answer them as they deserve or something. Like, I was like, I mean, should I say that it's not mine or I shouldn't? Because just because some people likes it, it doesn't mean that everyone likes it, that, you know, hey, you little bitches or something, you know, that kind of, you know, thing. Um, I would never, ever call people little bitches just because they thought that pay-per-view is expensive, you know. I mean, nobody has to buy anything, you know. They, nobody has to do anything, you know. I mean, if they support, it's good. If they don't support, what are you going to tell them, you know? But the guy Photoshop and like, look at what Engin says and then, hey, you little bitches. And I was like, should I explain or not explain? Should I explain? If I explain, people will say, hey, Engin, we know that it's not you. If I don't explain, some people will think that, you know, oh, hey, look at how Engin is talking to the community just because some people didn't buy the pay-per-view. So I explain on Facebook, but then the next day I look at it on YouTube, I see that the, the subscribers were just going down you know not so much but normally it's going up and then i look at i check it five people down i check it three people down and i was like okay you don't have to subscribe but just i mean if this is the reason that you get offended so let me explain yeah. so i explain again i said you know i explain on facebook but let me explain on youtube looks like it's necessary and then people said oh you share this so because um what because you also agree with it or something. I mean, it, it is not, it is just like, so, I mean, they already have bad assume, you understand, like assuming in a yeah. bad way. It just like, I, I dislike that. I don't think that, you know, um, anyone should do that, but uh, whatever. But I see that most of the people are supporting and many of people are saying that, you know, oh, and you know, I wish you, you wrote this thing. I, I wouldn't do that. I, I, I wouldn't, it's, it's not me, you know. Uh, about the negative comments, I, mean, I don't know if you remember it or not. Last time you were on my show, I, I advised you something like instead of blocking some someone, just try if someone types di disrespectful or bad thing, just try mm -hmm. to give them heart and thank you. If you block someone, they'll return. They will return with a new account. But if you no, if you give them heart and say no, 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 they don't. I mean, just <laughs> like just look at it. The the, the percentage of the, them, I, I don't even remember like when I like. Block maybe a few I block lately, but not 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 too many Pe people knows it. Yeah. People knows it that you know here not to disrespect you know. Yeah, yeah. maybe and listen, people says that Engin, look at you know haters are good even if they disrespect they write bad it's good for your popularity. They don't understand me. We they their mind and my mind are working different. I'm yeah. not looking for popularity. I'm not looking for money. I am like if if no peace, understand? Then then then, what are you gonna do with money? What are you? I have principles. It's okay. I would be even a. <laughs> I mean, like five subscribers. <laughs> I would still just go and chat with them. You understand? It's, it's not a problem. You know, just that I don't have such call. I mean, if if it is up, it's good. But I'm not going to give up on my principles because of the popularity or money. You know. Yes. And Engin, let's start talking about East versus West now. First of all, I would like you to remind our viewers, I'm sure you have already told them at least 100 times, but one more time, remind our viewers about the date, time, venue, sponsors, guests, everything, as much as you can remember right now. I don't understand what. What's the question? What's sponsor? Just please, once again, remind the viewers of everything about the event, the basic details, the date, time, where can they watch it, who are the sponsors oh, okay, okay, okay. and yeah, who yeah. are the guests? I mean, as you know, that East versus West is an event that started when there was pandemic, you know, 
there was a lot of travel restrictions and everything. I started to do that to cheer the uh, community. There was no pay-per-view at the beginning, nothing, you know, and it was June 12, 2021, that I organized the first East versus West, when there was Sarah Beckman, Hermes Gasparini, Matt Mask, Tata Shings, Roleo Hajimurat, Arthur Makaro, myself, and some others, Herman Stevens, Joshua Gastingrand, you know. Um, and then, then I don't even know how it happened, but just we just continue doing it. I don't even know how, I mean, I don't know. Like, like whenever I think, Pradeep, from the, uh, the East versus West 2, when there is Zurab and Rambet, who, you know, Jambers in Murad, you know, from that event to this event, to me, it seems like minimum a year, but it hasn't been even six months, you know, just, I mean, everything is just so uh, busy. And so this is the third, the fourth edition will be in on August 6th in Istanbul. And there will be 16 super matches and eight of Eight of these super matches will be the world title super matches. John Berzink versus uh, Kedirgalo Ongarbe, 100 kilo world title. Tata Chings versus Evgeny Prudnik, 110 kilo world title. And Jerry Kadoret versus uh, Gennady Kuikminia, super heavyweight world title, right arm. And then uh, Cody Merritt versus Artem Morozov. Super heavyweight world title with left arm. Oleg Zok versus David Dadikian, 100 kilo left arm world title. Bojidar Semeneo versus uh, David Samusha, 80 kilo right arm world title. And we will have Egle, Egle White Kute versus Gabriela Vasconcelos, uh, plus 80 kilo woman right and left world title matches. And then we will also have Dave Chappy versus Artem Morozov right arm ranking match. And we will have Ryan Bowen versus Ray Raymond Lepins. And we will have uh, Derek Smith versus Revaz Lutudze. Uh, Chan Shaw versus Zurab Taberidze. Lachlan Adair versus Sandri Sedis. Corey Miller versus Daniel uh, Prokopchuk. I don't know if I forget anything. Uh, Yusuf Yildizoglu versus from Kazakhstan, Yardolot, Yardolet, uh, Yardolet Sarabai. I think Yardolet that you mentioned from Kazakhstan, he may be the most unknown people on this card. Can you explain a little bit more about him? Like I personally, yeah, yeah. this is the only Yardolet, athlete that I know, don't know much about. Yardolet is the 65 kilo left arm senior world champion with right arm he took third place after yusuf um so they both go inside so it will be a good good hook match with yusuf this is what i believe okay so guys the date is august 6th 8 p.m august, turkish time august right 6th, 8 p.m istanbul time it will be uh, live on Course Sports. If you, if you go to Course Sports page, you can you can purchase from there. 16 matches from all over the world, from Australia to Brazil, from Brazil to USA, from there to Kazakhstan, Georgia, Armenia, Turkey, Bulgaria. Oh, the one of the most important match I didn't mention: Iraq, Zirakashvili versus Krasimir Krasi. Kostadino. These are incredible matches, you know, just like, like I, I try to control my uh, <laughs> self, you know, to not to praise the event that, because I'm organizing. But whenever I'm just thinking that, you know, like just say that if someone else would be organizing, I would just say, yes, let me watch. This is incredible event, I would just say. But now whenever you organize, you sound like, you know, you are trying to sell your stuff, you know, to people by praising, but like, so I try to control myself to not to say uh, the positive things that it deserves, you know? I mean, just, you are an arm wrestling fan. Yes. How, how, how would you rate the, the card, you know? 
I was thinking about it, 16 world level matches, even if you look at matches like Ryan Bowen versus Ryman Leipzig. So these guys are not world champions, but if you look at the popularity of the match, it is also a world yeah. level match. So all the matches are world level and less than $1 per match. So I think this is the best, like all three events are definitely, I would not say one of the best. They are definitely on another level. Personally, I do not like three, four matches. I used to think that I would not like 15, 16 matches, but I think you have changed the perspective of many people. And now everyone is expecting, I used to do some polls and people were saying that five matches are the perfect combination. But since after the three East versus West events, now everyone is saying, yeah, at least seven, eight matches should be there. So you changed yeah, the perspective. Yeah. yeah, 10 matches, 10 matches. I think November, I will try to do my best to limit with 10 matches. And... But just imagine if East versus West was five matches right from the beginning, it would be great. But whenever you think that like those, like just imagine that if there was only four or five matches at East versus West, you would probably think that it is too short. Yes, yes. I think 10 match is going to be the perfect, but you need to have a very, very strict rule for yourself that no matter what, even if you somehow get a world level match as an 11th match, you, you are not going to organize it. I think 10 should be the threshold where you yeah, yeah, should restrict yeah, yeah, yourself. Yeah. I put myself enough trouble, you know, about the, the uh, expenses of the events. It was a little bit more than 85000 The May event, this is more than $110,000. So if I didn't find some sponsors, I would be losing big money this time. We will see, you know, we will see. I am expecting about 75% of the expenses to be covered by pay-per-view and the rest are by the, those t-shirt donations, you know, signed t-shirts and VIP sponsors and then other sponsors, you know, things like that, you know, let's see. Yeah, guys, please take that 75% to 100%. Please buy the pay-per-view if you can. And I mean, I would ask you one thing. What did these last two years organizing these three events, what did last one and a half years, what did they teach you that something that you may not have learned otherwise and something that may be beneficial for you in the future? I'm talking about organizing these three big high level events. It is, it, is, it will be even less than one year and two months. Um, in fact, the last three will be organized in less than six months. Um, what did I learn? I mean, I don't know what I learned. I have no idea what I learned. But I, I know, I learned from this card that I should be very careful about the expenses of the um, event when I'm setting these matches, calculating. Um, but from one side, it pushed me uh, to look for sponsor. If I didn't make this mistake, I wouldn't be looking for sponsor. So now I look for sponsor, I found some sponsors. And I hope I will find more, but um, I mean, it, it, it helped me, you know, to find sponsor whenever I put myself into travel. So now I need to bring the cost down a little bit so I won't be stressing so much. Um, but, you know, it is August. In August, tickets are very expensive, pretty, very expensive, especially when you are having guests from Brazil, Australia, USA, overseas, you know. Um, really, really expensive, and people don't understand, you know, or why the paper we went from 1399 to 1499. There's only one thing I will say, only one thing, that East versus West three in May, there was 17 foreign athletes. East versus West four, 28 foreign athletes. You understand? 11. Or more foreign athletes are coming here. This have tickets, this has hotel, this has transfers, this has prize money awards. So you, you, you can calculate the rest. And for anyone who is complaining about the price of the pay-per-view, I watched one video, I do not remem remember that. And yes, nobody should say that when you created a poll on your channel, Ryan Bone created a poll on your channel, there were people saying, why would anyone say that they are not going to buy the pay-per-view? And I'm like, why would... Everyone say that they are going to buy the pay-per-view. Not everyone 
can or should buy the pay per view. If like everyone there, hundred thousand Arsenal Sling fans, it is not possible for everyone to buy the pay per view. Like I was saying, fifteen dollar is about one thousand Indian rupees, and that is the one day salary for at least at least more than one day salary for at least eighty ninety percent people in India. More than one day salary for ninety percent people in India. Yeah, so this so depends. It depends on where you live in India. Yeah, it depends on where you live. So the the point was that. no you cannot expect everyone to buy the pay per view but that guy in that video made very good point no matter where you are living the event was announced 3 months in advance 4 months in advance if you cannot save 15 dollars in 4 months then you need to rethink your life choices you need to make more money you need to start working unless you're a minor 14 15 16 year old yeah, it is a different realize, thing you realize that you know if if it just like I mean, I know for India the time zone will be very bad because it will be early in the morning. You know, it will no. start around. No, no, no. You are three hours ahead of us. Three hours ahead of us. Two thirty. Two thirty. Eight p.m. here. Ten thirty. Ten thirty for me. So ten thirty starts, but if it's four hours, so it will be early yeah. in the morning. Two, yeah. three a.m. in the morning, you will finish. But I mean, for some other countries that they don't have it, but if time zone is okay, a few guys together. You understand? They can buy. You understand? Just say like five guys together, it would cost three dollars a person or something, you know. Yeah. But again, you know, nobody has to buy anything, you know. Yeah. I mean, if they sport, it's good. I'm, I'm, I'm never upset. I mean, I am only upset if I cannot organize and serve yeah. arm wrestling because East versus West became something uh, enjoyable for the community, and. You, you, I, I, I mean, it would be good if we continue. If, if we don't continue, if the community like don't support enough to continue, I won't be upset with with people. I mean, I will be only upset that I cannot serve more. But that, that's all, you know. It's not as I said many times. People may not believe it's not my job. Nothing. Like a, a while ago, I was just thinking everything. I'm gonna have brain bleeding, you know. That I, the the things that I need to do in one week. I just received the email from Core Sports like that long that I need to do a lot of things. I'm like, oh, my brain is burning because I have some other things to do as well. Yeah. And, and guys, what Angin just said about uh, buying the pay per view with your friends, I want to clarify one thing about it. Yes, you can buy it together, but you will have to watch it on different times. If you try to log in with different accounts at a time, you will be automatically logged out. Of the other accounts, you can only watch it once. But no, but no, you can... no, 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 together, together. Okay, sitting together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You get in together okay, and then yeah, watch it. it together. That's right. But don't you think that four or five guys together watching this is like also good? Cele don't celebration think, yeah. kind of thing. Yes. I yes. will also ask you something. Do you think that live commentary is has negative effects on the pay per view? I, I, I. Difficult question, Angel. Difficult question. On the free yeah, so events, yeah. You are all time asking me questions, so let yes. me ask you this. Yeah. For someone who who is doing the live live commentary for the free events, I I do believe because this is why I did not do live commentary on the Monster Factory event because it was free to watch. I don't think there is any sense in commentating an event that is already free to watch. But with this, I made a poll. I I actually did make a poll. What do you think? Live commentary is good or bad? And Almost eighty percent people said that you should do it, and even if we buy, we can have to. I get hundreds of people watching live stream who who tell me that they have they have the Core Sports website on one phone and they are watching my live stream on the other phone. And if they did not buy, I think the live commentary is not that much enjoyable. If a person is really thinking about buying it, he would buy it. So maybe a little bit but then again all the live commentators have the link posted because many you, people do you, do you, do you, when you do live commentary do you suggest people often you know frequently yes, yes. to support the event at least at least 20 times I, i i tell people and with the link in the pinned comments because uh -huh. during the last time also many people are saying where can they please tell me where can we watch it and people are sending message i cannot buy please help me buying i'm like i i cannot help you buy the pay per view because i'm doing live commentary now i would have done that if you asked me about few hours ago but yes maybe it can hurt a little bit but that should be compensated by we constantly trying to say that please purchase the pay per view we will not be showing you any video or audio from the event some people say that please please at least turn on the audio that we can listen and i'm like no 
that is not audio video both combined make a product so it is not possible so in a pay per view i don't think so but in a free event somebody is doing live commentary i think that can hurt the viewership of the event if it is free to watch how is it hurting that because there will be at least if if i'm commentating i mean if it is free if it is free everyone will go there watch there you know why would he not but after that there? live viewers will be less this is what i meant to say live viewers will be less because if i'm live commentating on john berzink versus monster michael todd at least 400 people will be on my live stream so those 400 people instead of being on my live stream they can be over to michael todd's channel unless they are also watching on two different devices i understand but if there is a live stream there why would they come and listen to you while they can watch it? they do this is surprising to me as well and they do i mean why would they i mean who would want not to watch something free and just listen okay i'm not going to watch but i'm just going to listen I mean that that needs to be a little bit this is also doubtful to me but I saw a few guys live commentating on that event and there were many people watching their live stream as well <laughs> so mean, maybe those are the not, maybe why would you not wanna I mean I have never heard that some people are arm wrestling fans but they don't want to watch the arm wrestling but they want to watch the audio <laughs> commentary yes It it is weird. Maybe those guys are watching on two. Not two weird. Devices. It's totally nonsense, you know. Just like two devices. Maybe they're watching on two devices. Yeah. So I, that I understand. To watch the event and listen to you, I understand. But yes. to not to watch there, I mean, you are like you know, hey, listen, there is a free arm wrestling, you know, video that you like to. I mean, if they like to hear about it, I'm sure that they would love to watch. You know. Yes. Yes. I I think I I think I should create a YouTube poll. It is it is a very good question. Me is are the live stream commentaries hurting or supporting the yeah, people purchasing? I mean, I mean if, if they are not purchasing, they will say no. It's not hurting, you know. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Again, always has very smart answer to to all the points. <laughs> great, great. <laughs> when when I, when I was young and had the lower lower blood pressure, you know. instead of being old and fat you know uh my my brain was working so sharp hmm. now it's still it is still working very sharp i saw that in the downlet video that you just uploaded neil pick up interview <laughs> oh yeah but but he, he just pushed my limit there you know? <laughs> Yeah. yeah. So, one one final question again. We just we discussed about purchasing the pay per view. What else can the viewers or the arm wrestlers that are competing or the fans, everyone, what else can we do other than buying the pay per view to support the event and to make sure that Angi Terzi keeps on putting such events? What do we need to do for that other than buying the pay per view, which is of course understood. My, my friend, I mean, it is just uh, right now. the only thing that they can do is just a uh, donation to buy signed t-shirts event t-shirt that you know arm masters you know pictures uh on the t-shirts all of them and also the t-shirt will be signed by all the competing athletes 29 one is from turkey the 28 from foreign countries and i will also sign so 30 uh our masters will be signing those t-shirts and we will provide them a paper paper review code and and then um i don't know if you can share the link or something but um so that that's how they can support you know and we will ship the t-shirt to them right after the event you know after the uh, at the sign so that that is how can they how they can do but they can also for the next event i did this event and uh 10 people uh showed interest that uh vip sponsorship that um they come by their own and then i provide them three nights on the five star hotel and then i provide them to join the dinner with with the, those uh, superstars and they can have access to t-shirt signing room that you know always fun and they will also join the athletes when they are having the official course sport uh, photography and they can have a uh, photograph you know with the athletes and then they can also have one signed t-shirt 
and then we'll have a front, front row seat VIP uh, at the competition place. Uh, and then it's for a thousand dollars, you know. So that is what I call VIP sponsorship. Yes. And $120 on GoFundMe will get to you guys signed t-shirt by all the world-class arm wrestlers. There is a lot of value to that. And along with that, you'll also get the pay-per-view code. And of course, the t-shirt will be free shipped to your home, which is also amazing. And again, we, we, I forgot to ask you about the guest. Hermes Gasparini is coming as a guest. And tell, tell, please Arsene, tell us about Arsene, Arsene Liliev, Arsene Liliev, Alex Kurdeka, and Russell Chochev. Russell Chochev is from 25 years ago, 20, 25 years ago, one of the legendary Russian athletes um, from Karachai, originally from uh, Caucasia, Caucasia region. Um, he will be also uh, being my guest. Okay. So the, the fans also can purchase the East versus West table. I already sold five of them with the cover with the, the athletes, you know, pictures, table surface, and athletes will sign uh, this, and athletes will sign. And so, but we sold five of them, and but those tables are not going to be used at East versus West. There is one that will be used with the same things, you know, with the signature and pictures. We will sell that one uh, with auction. That the one table that will be used that all those arm wrestlers will arm wrestle on it. These are all the ideas just to cover the event because I put myself into trouble by, by, by organizing an event and not counting the cost until I, I finalize everything. Then when I realized that it is at least $25,000 more than the previous event. Yes. So, um, so then I, I had to come up with ideas of sponsors, you know. And it is a good thing that it happened again because uh, let's say in the future, somehow you are able to, the, the, the flight prices are going to come down and the, the super matches are going to be 10 in number, not more than that. Somehow you are able to reduce the expenses. And those ideas that are with you now, because of that reason, those ideas are going to stay with you. I hope you do not say to us that now there will be no longer auctioning for table, no longer VIP spots available just because I'm already covering the event with pay-per-view. I hope you never say those kind of things. No, I you mean, should, you should continue with I want to do, Only thing I want to do is just secure the event so it can continue. Because if it continues, um, it is good for the fans and it is good for the professional athletes. Athletes. A lot of athletes are dreaming to be on that stage, you know. Yes. It is good to provide opportunity for them. It is good if I would make a few thousand dollars as well because I'm really working hard. But even if I don't make it, as long as I don't lose money, I will continue uh, organizing. Yes. And thank you very much, Engin. Before that, I would like to ask the fans one more time. Guys, please subscribe to Engin Terzi's YouTube channel. Arm Wrestling Engin, by far the best Facebook group on Facebook, Arm Wrestling group on Facebook. And if, if, if you guys think you cannot afford $15 to purchase a pay-per-view, then start working hard. Try to find a new job. Try to work something. Try to create something. Sell something. Maybe, maybe no, same no. thing. Angin, the same thing that happened. No, to I you. Mean, you are asking them to find a job just because. No, no. Like just to, to, just to like pay per I mean, no, it's, no. it's good if they find a better job. It's good for their life, but not for pay per view. If you say it that way, I mean, it will be so selfish thing to do. Angin, you know? Every, everyone needs uh, one just one moment. Like for you, you started looking for sponsorships. For me, it was I, I one day I thought I have a job, but my job does not require a specific skill. And if I'm out of my job, what am I going to do? I do not have any skill in this world. That day I told myself I'm going to do something, acquire a skill or, or do something that is going to give me more money than my job in next four years. I just told it to myself and to my wife. She was not my wife. We were about to get married. And I achieved that dream in less than two years. I had a four year time and, and I'm already making way more than my job on this YouTube channel. I mean, that's good. That's good. But, but just all the differences, you didn't do that just to purchase pay-per-view. Yeah. 
Okay, so that, if you say that way, I understand. Yeah. Just try work harder, make your life better. This better, I understand. Yeah. But hey, guys, find a better job so you can yeah. buy yeah. paper. You know, it sounds a little bit, you know. <laughs> but but just just try to maybe maybe a one day work where you can make fifteen dollars and doing that fifteen dollars for the paper. You and when you're doing that, maybe you will find something exciting, interesting, and you will be better yeah. off in the maybe future. It's all expected, accepted. You know, the arm wrestling is a good sport, fun, everything, but not one of the most important things in the life, you know. As an organizer who is dependent on this pay-per-view, I have to say this, you know, I mean, I mean, just to enjoy, just buy it, but don't, don't take it, you know, too serious. Family comes first. There are a lot of more things, you know, it comes first, you know, that's what I want to say. Yeah. The, the interview again was perfect, except for this chroma key green screen that kept bothering me. It kept pissing me off throughout the interview. No problem. But thank you very much for organizing such events. I hope your event is a success. And I know you do not want to make money, but I hope you do. No, no, no. So no that, I would so want. That... I would want. I would want. Because yeah. every time I organize, I borrow money from people okay. yeah. to organize. And after the event, I pay them back. You understand? Yeah. So it would be good if, if I organize it without so much depending there, 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 there. You know, it would yeah. be good. And, and when you save money, it depends totally on you, whether you want to keep it to yourself or you want to increase the fees of the athletes, everything is going to help to grow the community. So thank I mean, you very good. much, sir. And I know the next few days are going to be, I always say that the days of organizer trying to organize an arm wrestling event at this level are like a wedding day. Maybe somebody is getting married in your family and you have to look after all the arrangements, even more difficult or more harder, 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 harder. Uh, Harder. Yeah. Yeah. Harder, harder. yeah. yeah. And it's stressful. Yeah. Stressful. It is stressful because you don't know if you can cover the event or not. You know, that that that, that is the thing, you know. Yeah. So, th anyway, thank, you very, so thank, thank you. Thank you very, very, very much, my friend. And thank you for uh, inviting me and thank you for promoting the event. I will. And yeah. I yep. didn't do much, but I, I'm going. To, I, I was busy, but I'll do one video about one match every single day or two videos every day till the match comes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. You take care.